Howdy y'all, it's everybody's favorite Lovecraft, P.H. Lovecraft, and it's a cold, blustery day, which means it's perfect weather for curling up by the fire with a mighty fine book and another episode of... Today we are talking about Molly Tanza's Creatures of Want and Ruin, the standalone follow-up to her previous book, Creatures of Will and Temper, another P.H. recommendation. Now, if you've already read that one, you are in for a treat. And if you haven't, you're in for a double good time because you have two marvelous books to look forward to. Both books are set in the same world, but like I said, they stand alone. You don't have to have read one to understand the other, although you should obviously read both. There are some interesting points of comparison. The first book takes place in Victorian London with two sisters coming to terms with the existence of demons amidst a series of fraught brunches. Whereas this book follows two friends as they explore the shores and woodlands of Long Island, fighting demons, but also coming to terms with the twin scourges of prohibition and xenophobic bigotry. Two things P.H. does not recommend. We have Ellie, who's the rather rough-and-tumble bootlegger taking care of her family, and then we have Fan, who's the a sophisticated arrow-shooting socialite who's trying to figure out just what family is. Much like in the first book, there's a great deal of supernatural threat that permeates this book, but the real danger comes from the much more banal and human threats our characters face. It's an absolute delight, and I hope you will look it up. For one thing, it teaches the most important lesson of all, which is to always know the source of your hooch. As always, other than P.H. Lovecraft, y'all, y'all stay bad now. Thank you.